Welcome back to my little FZR project. Now that it's stripped, I think it's fair to say this bike's in need of a good clean. But with the nights drawing in and with no mains power in my garage, I've had to make some changes. I share this garage with my buddy Paul and we've rigged up some 12 volt lighting to a big battery and hooked up an inverter to power my homemade bench wheel. I've also got a primitive workbench complete with a Dremel and a parts washer, which should see me through most of the cleaning jobs on this project. It makes sense to have some form of plan so keeping it as simple as I could, I'm working from the back to the front, starting with the subframe. The rear under tray was first up, which I gave a good wipe down to get the worst off, and then gave it a good scrub with muck off. Hardly showroom, but it's clean, and that's good enough for this project. Next were the pillion pegs. They both needed a clean, but this one had completely seized. The ball bearing had corroded in its rusty hole, but I should be able to free it when I take it apart. I can't say rusty hole, can I? Anyway, before I do, I'll give it a once over in the parts washer to get the worst of the grime off. Came apart pretty easily, and as suspected, the ball was stuck in its rusty hole. I can't say it again. Who wrote this? Anyway, it was in there solid, but I had an idea how I could get it out without bashing the shit out of it. I got one of the reasonably priced ultrasonic cleaner units off Amazon. I had it filled with Swarfiga Giza, and the heater set to 50 degrees. These are super effective and super easy to use. You just set the temperature, set the timer, and it basically agitates the dirt away by hitting it with nothing but pure funk. Everything came out gleaming, and of course the ball bearing practically fell out. I removed the spring to clean it, packed the hole with grease and put it all back together. Then I simply copied and pasted it for the other side because, well, effort! So this was the first time I had a proper look at the subframe, and to be fair, it wasn't in great nick. It had more than just surface rust, worryingly on one of the structural worlds. It was going to need some work. But as luck would have it, that night I was scrolling through the XUP Facebook group and saw a chap called Ryan was selling one in decent nick for 30 quid. Problem solved. I actually met Ryan when we were featured in Practical Sports Bikes magazine in an article about young guys into old women. I mean bikes, bikes, bikes. Anyway. Since then, he's done some impressive stuff with these bikes, so it's been a great source of info for this project. This meant though, I needed to harvest all the hardware and the light unit from the old subframe. I will replace these where I can, but it's just useful to know which ones go where, using the old ones as a reference. The rear light lens was pretty grim, so I gave it the muck off and scrub treatment. It actually came up pretty nice. The spacers were a bit corroded, so I freshened them up on the wire wheel before shelving that unit until the new subframe arrives. Hey, here's a nice shiny new subframe courtesy of Ryan. I started with the rubber grommets that the fairings fit to before working through the old hardware replacing it with new stuff. It's so satisfying to put nice clean parts back together. Back to the plastics. The rear end unit needed a good scrub up and refresh. Again, it didn't need to appear brand new, just needed to be clean. I wasn't going to touch the coolant reservoir, but when inspecting the overflow hose, I saw it had pretty much deteriorated. So I ordered a new hose and gave the whole tank a good clean inside and out.
and thanks to the magic of editing, the new hose had already arrived, so I stuck that on. So that's some progress. The subframe, rear pegs, the under tray, the rear unit, and the coolant tank all clean and ready to go back on. But I put it off for too long now. In the next video, I'll be attacking the swing arm, the rear brake, the rear suspension, and the chain. If you made it this far, fair play. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it. And if you are, do give the video a like and share the channel with anyone you think might enjoy it. Now I better go and buy some more degreaser. <laughs>